What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about something very important. I'm going to talk about one of the ways that you can get started in real estate with zero or little money. But before I get into that, I do want to say thank you for coming to my channel. I want to reintroduce myself. My name is Riley Tucker. I'm 25 years old from Salt Lake City, Utah. I'm a new real estate investor. That's what this channel is about. It's about the process of you know starting real estate, investing in real estate in the year of 2021 and you know starting with nothing and building a portfolio going to you know a couple hundred units maybe even a couple thousand whatever i want it to be i can create that so let's jump into the video today i want to talk about wholesaling and you maybe heard a little bit about it before you've maybe seen signs on the side of the road that say we buy houses um you've probably heard like radio stations say we buy foreclosures, divorce houses, distressed houses, like you've probably heard this stuff before and if you haven't that's okay. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk a little bit about it today and I hope that it teaches you something and, and like helps you realize that like hey you can start real estate today even with little money or with no money. So um, basically wholesaling it's just like any other business. You just as other businesses get shirts from you know a distributor overseas you know they're paying five dollars a unit on a shirt and then they get it over here to the united states and they sell that shirt for thirty dollars and that that allows them a twenty five dollar profit right there and that you know that's pretty good and then they do that hundreds of times and that's how they make their money so wholesaling houses is very similar to that you're, you're finding a property and you know most of the time they're distressed properties, but sometimes they could be houses that aren't distressed. Maybe the owners had to get out of them quick. You found one that could be a good rental property, a good buy and hold property, and you was, you're able to get that to somebody who can pay for it and who wants another rental property. But most of the time, it's gonna be a distressed property. Something's wrong with it. You know, there's work that needs to be done with it, and we need to get that property to somebody who does fix and flips and sells them for a profit. So uh, let's let's dig a little deeper into this and talk about a wholesale deal, a potential wholesale deal that could happen. So we're gonna say that you know we're gonna start we're gonna start wholesaling right now. Well, we need to go find a property, right? So there's there's many ways to do that. Um, you know, there's cold calling, driving for dollars. You can send out mailers. You can use um, like you can go online on different websites or or softwares and use something like PropStream to find you know, information about houses. Um, you know, there's there's other ways you can do this. The bandit signs, the, you know, a radio ad, social media ads. There's many ways that you can do this. So let's just say that we're gonna we're gonna drive for dollars. That's a very common one that's that's done with wholesalers. So we're gonna go out to a neighborhood, you know, right by my house. We're you know, I'm just I'm just saying this pretend. We're gonna go out to a neighborhood. We are gonna start driving around and we're gonna we're gonna find properties that either have you know, overgrown weeds, overgrown grass, broken fences, paints coming off on the outside, maybe a broken window or boarded up doors or windows, maybe shingles are missing on the roof, you know, anything that, that shows signs of distress. We're going to find, we're going to go around the, around the neighborhood and we're going to write down those addresses of, of those houses and you know there's apps out there where you can just it, it'll show you on the map and you just add them super quick but we're gonna get those addresses we're gonna come back to the office and then we're gonna skip trace them what skip tracing allows us to do skip tracing allows us to put these addresses in in a system and then we get information about these homeowners we can see you know their name their phone number maybe their email address so we're going to get their phone number and we're going to cold call them. And before you stop the video, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, oh, cold calling, like I'm out. I sounded cool till he said that. Guys, cold calling, I know, I'm the same way. I'm, it's not exciting, just cold calling people out of the blue. But hey, it's necessary. If I want to reach my goals, I know that I have to do it. And so that's why I'm going to jump into it and get doing it. But we're going to we're going to cold call them. And, you know, we're just going to be normal people, have a normal conversation with these people and try and figure out how we can help. We're not going to be robotic and, you know, like those calls that we all get and say, hey, we've been trying to reach you out. Your car's extended warranty. Like, no, we're just gonna, we're just going to call them and talk to them and, and be human, have a normal conversation. So, you know, other wholesalers, they have 
um, kind of scripts that you can use for this. So we're going to call up these people and we're going to say something along the lines of this. Hello, my name is Riley Tucker. I'm a local real estate investor in the Salt Lake area. How are you doing today? They're going to say, oh, I'm doing good. Well, that's great to hear. It's nice weather outside. Hope you're enjoying your day. Like I said, I'm a local real estate investor in the area. I'm looking to buy a few more homes by the end of the year. Would you be interested in a cash offer on your property today? And I mean, there's only a few options they're going to say. They're going to say yes, they're going to say no, and they're going to maybe cuss at you. And if, if you already expect that you already know what's going to happen, then you don't need to worry. Everything's going to be all right. But let's say they say yes. They're interested in a cash offer on their property. I'm going to get a little more information, find out the square footage, find out how many bedrooms, how many bathrooms, you know, what work has been done lately, what do they think needs to be done, when was the last time maybe the water heater was replaced or the roof was replaced, like these are important things that we need to find out. And then, you know, you can even do this virtually. You can have people, you can get this information, you can have people go check it out for you. Or let's say I, I'm going to set an appointment to go check it out myself. Um, and take some pictures and take some videos and add that, you know, as part of my, as part of the, the deal, like package later that I'm going to send out to cash buyers. So let's say they're like, okay, you know, we have that conversation, we find out the details and we say, all right, well, I'll call you back in 20 minutes. So now we're going to get on, you know, we're going to be here at the office. We're going to, we're going to run our numbers and I'm going to run comps to find houses nearby that maybe have been renovated and they're similar to the, the characteristics of the property that we have and let's say we find a comparable we find a property that's just like the one we have and so let's say all fixed up this property the ARV which stands for the after repair value will be four hundred twenty thousand dollars so now we need to take into account you know a flipper we need to take account into, into account the profits that they want to make maybe the commissions or other fees that they have to pay and this is generally like between 70 to 80 percent of the ARV. So I'm going to take that ARV, 420,000, and I'm going to I'm going to take we'll do 75 percent of that, and that's going to be 315 grand. So I know that I need to be you know somewhere around 315 grand. Well, let's say when I was on the phone, the seller said you know I want 320 grand. So now, you know, I'm not, not quite there what they want, but I also haven't put into account my wholesale fee. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, you know what, I want to, I want to make 15 grand on this deal. I want to get this, I want to get this under contract at $300,000. That would be $20,000 less than what the seller said that they wanted. And what we're going to do is we are going to write up a purchase agreement. We're going to send that in we're gonna send our offer in and when it says you know Riley Tucker wants to buy this it's gonna say Riley Tucker and we're gonna add in and or assigns and that is a crucial part of this because this allows us to transfer the contract to other people so let's say the seller comes back and they're like all right 300 grand will work we have a 14 day inspection period to get our deal done and now it's time for us to go find a cash buyer now we're gonna. You can, there's many ways you can find a cash buyer. You can do it with Facebook investing groups. You can do it, you know, other social media ways. You can create a cash buyer's email list and just shoot that, shoot our deal, um, you know, get all of our numbers on a deal sheet and send that out an email to to all these cash buyers. And then someone's gonna forward and come forward and say, you know, I think I think this may work. And so we're gonna take, you know, we, we're gonna take our contract. We got it for three hundred thousand dollars. We're gonna we're gonna assign it on a separate contract. We're gonna write this assignment up. We're gonna assign it for three hundred and fifteen grand. That allows us to make that difference. That fifteen thousand dollars in the middle is gonna to come to us. So let's say these cash buyers they run their numbers. They're like, all right, I think this this will work for me. I'll be able to make a decent profit from it. So they sign that assign the assignment contract. We send that into title, and from there we don't need to worry about anything else. The title is going to work everything out, get everybody paid who needs to be paid. And when it comes to close, we're going to end up with a $15,000 check. So that's, that's, that's called positive arbitrage right there. We're, you know, maybe we spent 12 cents to skip trace on each property and we had 200 properties, you know, we're, we're paying a little money there, but then we're making 15 grand and 15 grand is like half of what I make right now as a 25 year old. 
you know, a 25 year old that was just going to school. So you're telling me that I could do two or three of these deals in a year and be, you know, make the same amount of money as my nine to five when I was grinding and grinding away at a nine to five, you know, and then if I didn't want to do anything else, great, but I'm not that kind of person. So I would, you know, keep doing these deals and I can end up with hundreds of thousands of dollars by the end of the year. Just in one year, I could make that. So wholesaling is a way for you to get started with very little money. And the reason I'm deciding to do it is so that I can get capital so that I can start investing and buying rental properties to, to buy and hold. You know, I know it's a lot of hard work. I may have to call, I may have to do 500 cold calls before I get that deal, but that deal could be 10,000, 20,000, 30,000. Like wholesale deals can be, as long as the numbers are right, they can be a lot of money. It could be $60,000. It just depends how the numbers work out and what needs to be done with the property. But remember, when you're talking to these sellers, you need to figure out what what the problem is. What can you solve? Why do they? Why are they wanting to sell? And what can you do for them? You know, do they do they have a family member that passed and they need to downsize? Are they getting a divorce? So they need to get out of it quickly. Are they? You know, maybe they haven't been in it for 15 years. They've just been holding it, thinking that they were going to do something. Now they just want to get rid of it. Maybe it was a rental property that's, that's you know, got damage and now they're just like, you know what, let's sell it and get into another one. It's important to find the problem and solve it because in real estate, that's what we do. We have to solve problems and that's in any business. You have to find the problem, you have to solve it, and that's how you get paid. So I hope that you were able to learn something from that. That's a brief overview of what wholesaling is. I do want to dive into it deeper on my next video, so stay tuned because I will start cold calling on camera so you can see the interactions that I have. It's gonna be interesting, it's gonna be fun. I know people probably won't be happy with me, but I know that there's that one person that needs help. They're, you know, they're in a situation, and I know that I can solve the problem, and when I solve that problem, it helps them, and then it helps them get money in their pocket, it helps me get money in my pocket, and it helps the, the fix and flippers run their business and get money in their pocket. So it's a win-win for everybody. That's why it's so cool, is because you can help you can help many people and you can get paid while doing it and you can make good money while doing it as well. So that's why I think wholesaling is cool because you can help many people and you can get paid good money while doing it. And it gives you a chance to learn about real estate. It gives you a chance to run your numbers, you know, find the deals, network. And you know, once you build up your network and you are, you have these cash buyers that you talk to, like it just, as soon as you find a deal, maybe these people want to buy more from you. So it just helps your situation when you're out there, boots on the ground, running, running through these deals, running the numbers, and it'll just help you later on when you're when you're trying to look at rental properties. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, come back and check out my next video where I'm going to be cold calling on camera, and it's going to be a good time. Who knows what's going to happen? So we'll catch you on the next video.